Hi everyone. So in this video, you will learn how to show a toast message using JavaScript. Let's go to google.com. Type here native toast JS. Click on this link. And this is a library which we are going to use. And we need the CSS file and the script file. So let's click on this link. And we need this minified version. Just click on this and copy it. Now let's create index.html here and create script.js. Let's have some basic structure and include that script and include our script. Nice. Now we need that CSS file also. So just click on this. View raw and copy it. Let me verify once again this script URL if it is right or not. So when you click on this. Let me paste it here. Ah, that's the URL. Sorry for that. So make sure you go in the raw mode first. Okay, when you click on this, you'll get this script and then you take this URL, not before that. Otherwise, it will not work. Great. Now let's have a button here and make it click here. Mm, just to Align it in the center, make a div element and paste it here. Let's add a style attribute and it will be text align center. That's it. Now save it. Open this HTML file in the browser. And that's the output. Now let's start using this native toast library. And you can see uh, these are the options which we have message, position, rounded. We'll have a look over each option one by one. So first of all, just copy this piece of code and paste it in the script.js and just delete this part. Okay. So this will be our toast message and this will be the position. Let me explain you a bit how it will actually work. So this top section will be north the bottom will be south, this left one will be west and the right one will be east. But uh, I think uh, we'll add event listener first to the button and then show this toast message. So let's make it add event listener, you want to listen to click event and then show this toast message. Now save it click here okay this is the output so now we made it northeast let's try to make it southeast so in case of a south it will go from bottom to the left side here so make it southeast save it click here and you can see it is coming from bottom and towards the left uh, let's uh, see more options so there are more options for example west is south center let's try with the west save it see so if you put southeast then it will be somewhere here but in case of west it will go all the way up here if i'll put center it will be in the middle somewhere So these are the valid values which your position option can have. Now let's go with this uh, rounded. So if you want to have rounded corners, you can go with this option. By default it is false. So let's make it true. Okay. Save it. Click here. You can see now we're getting rounded corners. The next option which we have here is timeout. 
so default is 3000 but you can increase it it's your choice in this case uh, i'll make it 5000 i just want to stay this uh, toast message on the screen for the five second so let's put timeout 5000 save it click here it will appear for the five seconds then it will disappear let's see another option and the next option is type so you can have these three uh, four possible values success warning info and error so let's go with the success okay so let's see save it you can see we are getting a green background in case of a success so let's make it error in this case you will get red background save it yeah this is the output let's see another option and the next option is icon so by default it is true so when you click on this you are getting these icons here if you don't want them then you can simply set it to false and just for the demo purpose i'll make it false and let's see if it disappears or not so it's no longer there let's see next option next option is edge by default it is false so if i set it to true your toast message will occupy the complete width so let's make it as to true just to see the output and click here you can see it's taking the complete width next option is close on click so basically you want to close the toast message when you will click on it by default it is false so let's enable it and see how it will actually work here i will increase the timer to i think around 10000 the 10 seconds and let's make it what is that close on click to true so when i will click on the toast message it will disappear so we are seeing a toast message now let me click on this and it's gone the last option which we have here is element so it will be basically array of html elements so let's see this in action so it will be equal to an array and we'll call a function that will be create element okay so let's create that function here create element it will be document dot create element and we'll create a div element here then we'll create one more element that will be child and it will be input and we'll append it so it will be append child this input element and we'll simply return this element that's it now just save it and go to browser click here and we are getting a input box here because i'm clicking on this so it is disappearing just set it to false so that it should stay now you can type so this is how you can show a toast message using javascript i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day